morning guys welcome to today's video today's video is all about Ollie Ollie can you guys see him in there hey Ollie he is definitely feeling a little bit stressed out because he knows he knows that today is the day that we chop off a part of his anatomy that he's really in love with there's a part of his anatomy that he is not going to be using on the day by day farm and he's getting rid of it today. I bet you guys can all guess. First it was Lexi's turn, now it's Ollie's turn, then it's gonna be Molly's turn, and then it's gonna be Daisy's turn. You guys have probably guessed it, they're all getting their reproductive organs removed. It's definitely gonna be an extensive year. There's a problem, you guys. I am an early sleeper. I am not a night owl. I'm a morning person. What are you, Sam? Morning person. <laughs> really, what are you, Sam? Sam is not a morning person. He's like Gabby. Like, you guys know how Gabby doesn't talk sometimes? Like she just sits there like that and hardly, hardly speaks. Sam does the same thing. Like, so, like Fiona will even actually like talk to him and he'd be like this. Exactly like Gabby. It's not them trying to be rude. It's them having some kind of quiet issues. Like they're quiet people. They don't, they're introverts. That's what it is. They're such introverts. It's unbelievable. So the problem is that normally I go to bed really early and I wake up really early and it's all good but lately I've been addicted to this television program and it is not a good television program it is trash TV and it is on Netflix and I'm addicted and I'm on season six and there's ten seasons ten seasons I'm trying to get them all done by spring because once the weather changes then there is no watching TV in the day by day family once it gets warm in Canada everybody gets out like everybody is outside from spring until fall in Canada because we have such limited time outside so yeah I'm trying to get it done I want to know in the comments below make me feel better what is your trash TV show of choice trash TV is like a, a TV show that doesn't that is just not something I don't know it's not it's trash TV Sam like we watch Kardashians that's trash TV to me like it's just nothing junky show like the show that I watch I can't tell you the name of it because it's got a lot of bad stuff in it it's got like drinking and and smoking and drugs and like it's just just not an awesome show but I'm addicted to it because I've fallen in love with the family that's in the show so anyway I want to know in the comments below tell me the truth what is your trash TV show of choice or even maybe it's a movie Gabby used to love Gabby spent last winter last winter last win Gabby yeah Gabby spent last winter a year ago watching Grey's Anatomy, which is not a trash TV. It was not, I mean, it was okay. It's not that bad. She spent last winter watching Grey's Anatomy, and they are not what nobody's watching anything seriously this year except for me. And I'm the one that never watches TV. I've been watching this show and staying up late, and then uh, it makes me not want to get up in the morning. So, yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem of today. hard leaving them there like he was looking at me out of that crate and staring at me when she picked up the crate and it's just hard like we're allowed to go in that vat so that's good but I feel sad for him like it's just I, the whole thing the whole situation is stressful okay so we are home and we are Gabby is watching Sophie's fall on camera yesterday it's Gabby's thing she likes to just watch Sophia fall I did too. I watched it. yeah it was so funny there's a hole over there that I went in. Like the figure if you missed it, here it is. The slowest motion fall you could ever imagine. She just let herself go. She... Her legs are... Here it comes. She leans... Watch, she leans forward. Yeah. Well, when we move, we can put one of these in our yard. She leans forward and then... <laughs> All right, but you know what was amazing? That Gabby always tries to help Sophie, and she was out there. You were out there helping her. Reenactment. The dogs are like, "Let me check on you." 
One thing we do in our family is we laugh at each other. It's true, we laugh at each other and the reason that we do it is because sometimes I feel like in life you have to learn to laugh at yourself. You have to learn and figure out how to laugh at yourself or else you get, your, get too sensitive and too worked up about other people teasing you. So teasing, we tease each other. It's something that we always have done. Back to home school. Okay, we were just talking about this in the car, and now the girls are talking about it. What see? What show are you watching currently? Modern Family. Modern Family. What show series are you Modern Family. Modern Family. Are you guys watching Modern Family? Comment below. Do you like it? I love it. What do you like about it? <laughs> the gay guys are so funny. In my show, all the love stories, like it's a bunch of, it's like a big family, extended family, and there are two gay men and their love story is the most incredible story it was they're broken up now but their love story was literally the best love story of all the love stories like it was so beautiful um a company named TerraCube actually sent us a cell phone actually sent us a smartphone for free to review that has never happened to us before gabby do you thumbs up this phone yes sophie do you thumbs up this phone yes She's like, I have never oh had God, a chance to play with it yet. Dying. All right, so let's show them the phone. Wait, wait, wait. I have to save us. Wait, we have to you save us. see how good the quality is. This is the TerraCube 2E. It comes with a fully biodegradable case. Isn't that cool? Like, look at the case. It's so nice. It feels really neat. It feels good. It works great. So the whole idea behind TerraCube is to make a more sustainable phone. This phone is supposed to last for four years and it's made out of recycled materials. It's crafted from 25% recycled plastics and the case is biodegradable. It also features a replaceable battery that you can swap out easily when the time comes and it comes with a four year warranty <laughs> so that the phone lasts longer. Even the box is recycled material and it's really, it's actually really good quality for what it is. So TerraCube's main purpose, I read on their website, is to make a more sustainable phone and to prevent all the waste in our landfills of used phones. I love the fact that it has a four year um, warranty and everything from water damage to cracked screens are eligible to be fixed. Isn't that crazy? Yep. So their philosophy is to fix, not replace. <laughs> This is the cheapest smartphone that you can ever get. Uh, the quality actually stacks up pretty good. Do you think the quality is good? Yes, and yeah. that is uh, fingerprints. Yeah, and does it work? Yes. And yeah, and for being two cameras and flash. Um, what's really cool about it is that it has a really good camera, it has really good graphics. It's you can't really tell too much of a difference between a high-end phone and this phone. Ooh. Still works great. Do you feel any? Do you find any leg? Are you noticing any leg, Gabby? No. Anyway, it comes with a case. It's super cool. We like it for the price point. It would be really good for little kids. Like, what phones come with a case? I know. It does not come with a charger, but it uses any charger. Like, you probably have a charger laying around. Like, we, we already have a lot of chargers, so we can just plug it in. But I think it would be really good for little kids, for any of my grandkids to use when they come to our house. Or really good for, like, someone that's yeah, older. Too. But anyway, it's a nice phone. I really like it. And for the price point, I think it's incredible. And I love what they stand for. TerraCube. While you were away getting hay, I decided to do two... Pop quizzes for the girls who never get tests. One in geography and one in math. Guess how they did? Failed. You think they failed? What'd you get in geography, Sophie? Is that the first one we did? No, the geography one, the maps. Mm. A plus. A plus? A hundred percent. You didn't even know where Italy was. How did you do? Because it was the seven continents. Oh. Gabby, how did you do on the continent test? Good. 100%. Sophie, what did you do on the math test? 100%. But I did get one wrong. So she did a bonus question and got the bonus question right and got I one. I didn't even notice I did it. So. And did, but got one wrong. So she got 100%. Gabby, what, how did you do in math? 100. 100%. What do you think of that, Sam? Pretty good for homeschool for girls. <laughs> That must have been really easy. No, it was, it was pop quiz. Like, so two things about the test. One, the reason that homeschool kids don't have tests is because we work on things until 
they know them. In school, you have to have a test because the teacher's not able to know how much you know without a test because there's so many kids. I sit with Sophie, I sit with Gabby, till they learn it. We continue to do the work and do the work and to the, do the work until I can see that they know it, so. When dad's home, dad works with me so that you can help Gabby. So there's always, so there's not any need in homeschool for a test, but I wanted to do a couple of tests just to see what would happen if they had a test. And Sophie and was exactly like me. She was like, oh, oh no, and she got all panicked. But then she hunkered down. So she hunkered down and she took extra time. It took her way longer than Gabby and she Gabby really, she really like focused and paid attention to what she was doing and she did the test exactly the way that I used to do tests. And Gabby went done. So that's just how Gabby does things. That's how Gabby does tests. But yeah, I'm so proud of them. We're gonna do more tests in the future. No. Maybe maybe we'll do tests on Fridays. Friday is test day. No. Anyway, we're gonna go Can and I pick up. Yes. We're gonna go pick up our Ollie boy now. We just pulled down to the barn and Penny came running out. <laughs> There's her little sidekick. Penny and her sidekick Willow. Look at Willow's hair. It's flying up. You guys can't see her as good through the camera, but she just came running out and stared right at us. She's like, are you giving us food? Hi, Pen. Hi, Penny Pickle. It seems warm out because the sun is kind of out and it's nice and bright, but it's actually really cold. It's minus 12 with the wind chill. Every time we take one cat away, the other cat goes and hangs out with the horses. It's nice to know that the cats are friends with the horses, huh? You're here with your friends, Lexi. Yeah, you forgive me. Your boyfriend, your brother is fixed now. So we won't be able to have a penny day tomorrow, but Sunday is our day. Sunday is our day, Penny Pickle. Sunday, it's you and me, Missy. She looks like she's feeling much better. The ice is almost gone. Here, look. Go around it, go around. I'm excited to ride again. I'm excited to ride, Penny. I'm excited to show them what I have for you. Something new. They're not gonna like it though. I can already tell. Oh, goodness sake. I hate that they're mean to Gracie. You can go out there, Gracie. You can go out there and have food. Sunday is our day, okay? You hold it together until Sunday and we'll be out there and we'll play with you. I love her hair. Like, look at how gorgeous it is. Wish my hair looked like that. In fact, you know how they take people hair and make wigs? Why couldn't they take horse hair and make wigs? Like, she just has gorgeous blonde hair. Be honest, it would be gorgeous. Be gorgeous hair. Brandon got here and we weren't even expecting him. We were expecting him, but not for another half an hour. Chino be looking so cute in his brand new saddle pad. We're hoping, hopefully this is gonna make a big difference. She knows. Feel it, Brandon, and see what his saddle feels like to you. Brandon kissing Chino. He's like, help me! I'm in the I'm in the crazy family. <laughs> Look at his ears. <laughs> he actually will chew your face. Like he he when you kiss him, he actually thinks that he's supposed to kiss back. So some people were concerned about us putting a blanket on Storm, even though the car the the vet said don't put one on. The vet said take the blanket off that he was wearing because it was sitting at his cut. So this is so this buckle of the other blanket was jabbing into his neck. His cut is here and the blanket is way down here. I don't know if you can see. So the cut is way up here. This blanket hangs down low. So we checked with him and he said, yeah, like obviously he can wear a blanket as long as it's not gonna cause a problem. If this one is like a stable sheet, fits back a bit and it definitely stays out of the way and it keeps him a little bit warm. It's been really cold the last couple of days. So we didn't wanna just stick him outside with nothing if we had something that could work for him. It was improvising. So anyway, you can't even hardly see the cut right now. It was huge and it's already healing really well. Uh, now this blanket is being torn to bits. <laughs> But his tail's looking better. I know you guys can't see because it's dark in here. Oh wow, it looks really bad in the light. It actually looks way better in real life. You can't even hardly see in real life. Yeah, so I've been soaking it in coconut oil. It's dark in here. That's yeah, you can't really see. But in the camera, look at it in the camera. It looks like his tail's ripped apart. It doesn't look like that, guys. Maybe the camera has better lighting. Yeah, it doesn't actually, 
It kind of looks like that. That's kind of more like what it looks like. But anyway, I've been soaking it in coconut oil and it really makes a difference. He just stands there and loves when I rub it in. Every once in a while he looks back at me and is like, thank you so much. All right, so we're getting our horses all settled in for the night before we leave. We had a good lesson, hard lesson. I feel like all lessons are hard nowadays because we're trying to go a little bit further in our training. So Gabby's going to treat Stormy's neck. Storm knows to never ever bite me though. You know, he can bite the air hard. Yeah, if you're honest, like he might bite you because it hurts. Storm would never bite Gabby. Ever. And he's really stoic. He has never. Yeah, he's really stoic. Like he doesn't even flinch. He doesn't like he's let us do some crazy treatments to him. Because he always gets hurt. I know. Next is going to be on his body. I know. Because both of his feet and his chest. It's either going to be his head. No, because he has a blanket on. He already had his head. That's what I had to put So in summer, it's going to be um, his body. Good boy. You know those makeup pads that we have at the house? Those little circles? You want to bring those and then you can just dab she it on? the honey off her hand. Ew, that was No, disgusting. there's just liniment on my hand too. Ew. So how was your lesson, Sophie? Good. Finn liked it because he got to jump. Yeah. How was your lesson, was Gabby? You weren't scared. You did amazing. They were That's such the low jumps. Vertical that I had to go cross rails and vertical. He kept looking at the um, jump with his ears for and I was like, I'm not going to die. Like, hopefully I don't die. Why are you looking at? Hey, why are you looking at? All right, we are headed home for Friday night festivities. Friday night relaxation. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?